guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're back. Today I'm gonna to share with you 10 tips to keep a clean home that don't take forever to do. I do not like to spend time cleaning, so I need things that are quick and easy I can do every day to maintain my house. So if you'd like to see my tips, just keep watching. Okay, don't click off this video after you hear my first tip because I know it's the tip everybody gives to make your bed. I get it, like we know we should make our bed, but really do you make your bed every morning? Let me know below. I can tell you I struggle to do this, but when I do make my bed, my house feels so much cleaner and I just feel like everything's put together. So I really think if you made your bed in the morning, it would help your house feel clean throughout the day. Okay, so my tip two, whenever I get up in the morning, I get the kids ready for school and they leave and then I spend five minutes cleaning up my kitchen. I feel like it's worth it to spend that time to get my kitchen in order. I put away breakfast dishes, I unload the dishwasher if it needs to be unloaded and I just wash any dishes that need to be washed by hand and I just really feel like it starts the day off right. Tip three is cleaning your counters and your tables at least once a day. If you guys have kids, you know that this is just something you have to do. I mean, what do they get all over the table? So make sure that you disinfect and clean your tables once a day. I use the Mrs. Myers cleaner in lavender. I love the smell of it. When I smell it, I feel like my house is clean and I just love the way it works on the granite and it also works well on my kitchen table. So when I'm done doing my five minutes cleaning in the kitchen, I come over and get my counters and my tables cleaned up. Okay, tip four has to do with laundry. I know sometimes people get really overwhelmed with laundry. So my tip is five days a week, I do one load of laundry. And it doesn't make it super cumbersome to do just that one load and I get it done and I do it from start to finish. So I bring the load down in the morning because our washer and dryer is on our main level and I will do the load. I mean, I will do it from start to finish. I I put it at the stairs, we take it up at night, and we put the clothes away. I think that's the big thing too, is getting the clothes put away so that they're ready for the next day. I also separate our laundry by, I keep mine separate from the kids. If you guys would like to see any more information about how I do our laundry, just leave me a comment below and I would be happy to do a video for you. Tip five, I realized anytime I saw things out on my countertops, I felt like it looked really cluttered and I didn't like it. So I try to keep all of my appliances put away in the cabinetry as best as I can. And I really don't put a lot out on the cabinets. This is just a cleaner look to me and I enjoy it. I feel like when the counters are clear, it's clean. So take a look at your countertops and see if there's some things that maybe you could put in the cabinets to help, you know, make it look a lot cleaner. Tip six would be to run your vacuum in your main living space. I know for me, I have the dark hardwood floors and I have to vacuum them more frequently than when I had light or even with the carpeting. I felt like you could see dirt so much better, which is probably a good thing that I'm able to see it uh, because we know it's there. But I don't do it every day, but at least every other day, I will run the vacuum in my main living space, which is mainly just my living room and kitchen and hallway area, and it makes such a big difference. So if you're wanting to get that clean look right away, just run your vacuum. Tip seven is not wearing your shoes in the house. So for us, what that means is, is that when we come in the house, we stop in our laundry room slash mud room and we take our shoes off and we put them away. Uh, we just don't wear them in the house. And 
you know, that's just so much more sanitary. You're not tracking all of the debris in the house, but really if kids have things on their shoes, they're bringing that into your home. So when you're walking around on your bare feet or your sock feet, it's a lot better for keeping your space clean. So I would recommend keeping some kind of bin by your door where everyone walks in so that they're able to take their shoes off and go, go on their way. So tip eight, I have a one touch rule. So that means that when I touch something once, I find a home for it. And a lot of times what we do is when we come in the house, we will set our stuff down on the couch. Well, if you set your stuff down on the couch, then you have to take it back and put it away. So when I come in, I have a spot for my purse and my coat and I go ahead and hang it up. Same thing with things sitting out on my counters. My bills, I have a place to go put those. So any mail that comes in, I'll put the bills up and I'll put the recycling away. With school papers, I have a place that we keep school papers we're gonna keep and the rest of them we recycle. And just anything that's sitting out, I'll touch it once and I'll put it away. Don't be doing this stuff where you touch it and kind of move it over here and then maybe it gets moved over here. Just find a home for it and put it, make a decision about what you're gonna do with that piece of paper or that item and just put it where it goes. That way you're not touching things a bunch of time because that just wastes your time and it's just not necessary. So tip nine would be to do a five minute declutter before bed. And so I know this can be hard, especially when you're tired. And sometimes I'll do it after dinner, but I just kind of walk around in my living room. Anything that's sitting out, I try to put away or I put over on the stairs so I can take it upstairs. I also will straighten up the pillows because I feel like my kids and my husband, they're always messing them up. And I know when I walk in my living room, and they're all set out nice and neat, it looks clean to me. So tip 10, you want to run your dishwasher every night. And for us, that just helps to maintain the kitchen, keep it clean. That way when we wake up in the morning, we can easily unload the dishes and be ready to go with our day. I hope you guys heard a tip or two that you guys could use in your home. Leave me a comment below and let me know what your tips are that you like to use in your house to keep things clean. And if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. It really helps to support my channel. And if you like seeing home and DIY videos, make sure to subscribe. I post three to four videos each week. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.